What's up Star Wars fans, welcome to another room tour. Today is the 6th of April 2019. I'm a, not only a couple of days away from heading off for Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. So uh, I just thought I'd do a little room tour um, and just show what it's like up to date now um, because it's probably going to change a lot when I get back. Um, I should have the Jabba Sail Barge um, ready to set up and see what else I get at Star Wars Celebration. So I thought we'd have another another look at the collection. Just outside of the collection I've got Solo Star Wars Story movie poster. That was a wedding gift. And also have this framed print from uh, Stephen Hayford. I know the reflection's not great. But anyway, let's go in the room and have a look. So let's start from the back of the door. Still showing off the uh, 40th anniversary Black Series figures. Signed print there from Matt Bush. It was a, it was a gift from me from my mate. It was from Star you got that from Star Wars Celebration over in London in 2016. So I thought I'd put it in a frame. Looks nice. And just throughout the room we've got all just all sorts of odds and ends. Um, for example, band-aids. Yep, it's band-aids. Hot Wheels cars based on the uh, Macquarie art. Some pieces down the side here. You got the Mark Hamill action figure from The Simpsons. Just random bits and pieces. A lanyard, Star Wars Celebration Orlando badge. A little poster from Star Wars Galactic Knights, the first one they ever held at Disney World's Hollywood Studios. April 14, 2017, and nearly nearly two years ago. Some other figures. Just random bits and pieces at the top. There's popcorn tins and cups and just random things. Potato heads. Some of my Lego sets. I'll go over that in a minute. This is all Black Series six inch figures here. This is my collection area. Sort of Rogue One Empire. Jubak. Sand Troopers. Ray on her speeder. Star Killer Base Battle between Ray and Kylo. Luke with his speeder, some sand people, and a Jawa. The Rebels crew, as they are at the moment. Ezra and Chopper will come out later this year. And hopefully we get an announcement of Zeb. The Rogue One crew. Still need that Bodhi Rook, guys. Come on, Hasbro. Going back up at the top. We've got Empire. All the Imperials. And so sort of rebels. Going down to resistance. And a couple of guys in the back. Zuvio, Guavi and Death Gang members. Sort of four court Force Awakens and sort of blends over into the last Jedi. Won't be long and I'll have to start squishing these up a little bit more to make room for episode 9. Holdo has uh, fallen over there. Never mind. First Order Army. A few Stormtroopers there. Phasma. Praetorian Guards, Snoke. Rain, Kylo. Flame Troopers. TIE Pilots. Snow Troopers. Hucks there in front, the first order officer there, and then a custom, oh, just a head swapped one there. That was a Finn, Finn in, uh, it was that body, um, with a Black Panther T'Challa head. But it looks good, fits perfectly. Down here we've got Jabba, Gamorrean Guard, Return of the Jedi stuff, prequels. Finally getting some more love. It's been some great figures coming out recently. The Battle Droid. 
Padme, General Grievous, Mace Windu, and we've got a fair amount of clones too. Solo. It's a great lot, lot of action figures here. Dryden Voss, Rio, Beckett, they're all great. Moloch. Range troopers in the back. Down the bottom we've got the bounty hunters. And some Hoth Hoth guys. It's a little Hoth set up down the corner here. And I've got a couple of the others sort of scattered around the room, which we'll see shortly. So this is a Lego display. Um, I have had to pack away quite a lot of Lego, um, just because I don't have the room to display it all. Death Star is my favourite thing ever. It's so good. So I've got the Ewok Village, and then... Jabba's Palace and Sail Barge down the corner there. Some solo sets. And my MCU Marvel Legends figures, which it's really hard to keep up with them. <laughs> Marvel Legends seem to come out really thick and fast, and it's hard to keep up. But uh yeah, I'll get I'll get some more soon, hopefully. So a couple of shelves of them. I'm quite happy with this collection, but yeah, there's been a big assortment that's come out recently that I'd like to, I'd love to add to the collection. But just up here on the wall, um, the Carrie Fisher poster from the 40th anniversary panel at Star Wars Celebration in Orlando. It's numbered 434 of 8,000. Me with. Hayden Christensen and Mark Hamill with Peter Mayhew across here it's got a couple of carded figures at the top there signature from uh, Greg Grunberg, Snap Wexley Brian Herring BB-8 Mark Hamill, of course Luke Skywalker and Peter Mayhew it's my Infinity Gauntlet Eventually, I'm hoping to get a detail shelf to put in just here in this sort of gap between this shelf and the window. Um, and all my Marvel stuff will go in there. Random stuff stuck on the side of the shelves. Here I've got all my figures ready for Jabba Sail Barge. I'll hunt down a few more while I'm over at Celebration. But uh, yeah, I decided to take them all off the shelf and get them ready. <laughs> A uh, little Kylo Ren shrine I've got up the top here. Just a bunch of random figures, bits and pieces, and uh, custom Episode Nine Kylo. So here we've got Force Awakens. This is all onto the three and three quarter inch stuff. Last Jedi. Again, probably have to. Cram these all together soon to make some more room for episode 9. Empire Strikes Back. Some Jabba's Palace. Sandstorm figures from the deleted scenes. Here's Jabba. It's a little bit dark in the corner here. Like that, the Rancor. More Return of the Jedi. Down to A New Hope. Sort of, that's mainly the Cantina and sort of Tatooine based figures. Some more down here. That's where it starts to blend into Rogue One. It's a tight fit, it's very, very crammed in there, but they're all there. Episode 2. Genesis Arena set down the bottom here with more episode 2 figures. There's a couple of figures have taken a tumble. More than likely the dogs have come in wag their tails <laughs> and knocked a few figures over. Tends to happen quite a bit. And just up here, got a solo. The rest of the 
solo figures there. And down the bottom, just some magazines and stuff all in the corner there. All right. So then we come up to the top here. I've just got some carded vintage collection figures down the down the side there. On the top, sort of plush plush toys up there. Again, just an assortment of stuff. Vintage Kenner, Darth Vader carry case, Pez dispensers, the Black Series Vader helmet, which I love. Just a random assortment of 12 inch figures and that sort of 10 inch Death Trooper, which, you know, he's almost a scale, almost a scale with those. Little bubble heads, little mystery minis. Sideshow figures in front of the uh, Queen Amidala figures there. Now we go to the media. We've got VHS tapes. Fringe of the Sith. <laughs> That's one of the Holy Grails. Took a long time to get that one. Gone to DVDs. It's a Blu-rays. I've got uh, I've got the Saga set and a copy of the Last Jedi out in the living room because I watched them recently. And games, and some old Atari games there. CD soundtracks. Now sort of coming through books and other random figures and bits and pieces thrown around. There's a lot of Legends stuff there. Power of the Force 2 figures mainly. Books. There's the Black Series Jaina Solo. Little porgs up there. Little miniatures and stuff like that. BB-8 cookie jar. And sort of getting into the hard covers. BB-8 section <laughs> and a little Thrawn section. That's uh, signed by Timothy Zahn. It's got his signature on the inside, so it's a really nice copy, so I'd like to show that one off. It's sort of the new canon novels. By no means are they complete. There's a few I've missed over the years, but it's okay. A little Darth Vader shrine here. Valentine's Day card from my wife. She does cross stitch and she did that one up freehand on her own. It looks fantastic, so I had to put it in a frame because I love it. Uh, Lego books. Now we're sort of getting into that. Making of art books, etc. Sort of reference, reference books. Super 8. They're really great. Love to get a Super 8 player to be able to watch these one day. Super 8 color sound. So cool. Alright, some more figures. We've got episode 1 down here. And Maul's taking a tumble. Revenge of the Sith. folders with random things that I've kept over the years. Stole cards, trading cards, uh, and just keepsakes and catalogues. Some Star Wars insiders I've collected over the years. Uh, comic collection. So most of these are all just issue ones. That's really only all the only ones I collect. And uh, each issue of the movie adaptations as well. It's the trade paperback collection. I've got one in the bedroom, which I've just finished last night. That's aesthetically pleasing to me. <laughs> just is. 
Clone Wars. Again, these shelves are pretty chock-a-block. It's all heroes, good guys, down to villains, bounty hunters, etc. Expanded Universe. Got to get down low for these. So, Expanded Universe Legends. Some great figures in amongst here. Some of them have taken a tumble. Do love that Ventress. Vintage stuff. Working hard to try and try and get a full set of the first, oh, the basic line figures before last 17. Um, I can't think of how many there were off the top of my head. But I'm closing in on that. Not going for completion or great quality. I just I just want to have one of each figure, one of each character at least. And a couple of tro extra troopers which would be cool. So moving along, just random stuff. Got the Hapabore in there, that's my favourite thing ever. That's <laughs> so good. So the Hot Wheels and die cast ships, miniatures, micro machines. A little Boba Fett shrine. Macquarie concept figures. And the Joe Johnson Snowtrooper back there as well. It's my SH figure art shelf. Um, taking a pretty deep dive into this line. <laughs> They're fantastic figures. I really like them a lot. So Anakin Obi Wan, Obi Wan Mole, Django, Obi Wan Anakin, old Ben, Vader, Luke, Luke Leia Han. Up here, this is just a little shelf of randoms. It's got the Disney Store Elite Series Phasmas from Force Awakens and Last Jedi, as well as the Hasbro Black Series Phasma. Carded Anakin Skywalker there. R2-D2 from when I was a kid. He always stays there. Stays out on his own now. And my hot toys, which I've only got a few of, but I'm looking forward to getting more because I'm extremely blown away by these figures. So there's Kylo Ren and Rey from The Last Jedi. Rey, Rey and Luke. So they're pretty, pretty incredible. Little porgs. And as you can see, there's a picture of me and my wife with Steve Sandwheat at Rancho Obi Wan. We got to visit there a couple of years ago. And a signed picture from Steve Sandsweet himself. And a signature from Steve Bloom, who played Zeb. So I'll just stand back in and get a bit of a 360 in here. So we can have a look around. Ships hanging from the ceiling. Gotta create some room somewhere for a barge. Because that'll be here before the end of the month. So I'm gonna have to move that chair and put a table across there or something. That's gonna be the only way to do it. We'll see. A BMF down there. And uh, yeah, if there's anything you'd like to see in more detail, let me know and I will uh, put it on the list of videos to do when I get back. Um, 
always happy to take requests for close-up looks. A um, lot of figures I've reviewed over the years. You can definitely scroll back through the channel and have a closer look at some figures. But if there are any items you'd like a closer look at, don't hesitate to drop a comment below, and I'll be happy to happy to give a closer look. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, floor rug. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.